Hi, I'm Glenna from the Community Engagement Team at Gail Borden Public Library. I'm excited to be a part of the Asian Pacific Heritage Celebration, and my part today is going to be creating some origami. We'll be making origami animals from Thunder Bay Press, an imprint of the Baker and Taylor Publishing Company. To start, you'll need a piece of paper that's six inches by six inches in size. We're doing one that has kind of a black and white print here. So if you happen to have a black marker or a black pen or even pencils at home, you can go ahead and decorate your paper however you might like. I'm going to just add some circles on here, kind of color them in. You get the idea. And now it's time to get started folding. The history of origami, according to pbs.org, is that paper was first invented in China around 105 AD and was brought to Japan by monks in the 6th century. Handmade paper was a luxury item, only available to a few, and paper folding in ancient Japan was strictly for ceremonial purposes, often religious in nature. By the Edo period, which was 1603 through 1868, paper folding in Japan had become recreational as well as ceremonial, often featuring multiple cuts and folds. It came to be regarded as a new form of art that was enabled by the advent of paper both mass-produced and more affordable. Written instructions for paper folding first appeared in 1797 with Akisato Rito's Sembazuro Urakata, or Thousand Crane Folding. In 1845, Adachi Kazuyuki published a more comprehensive compilation of paper folding with Kayara Gusa. By the late 1800s, the term for paper folding had morphed from Urakata, which meant folded shapes, to origami. Europe also has a tradition of paper folding that dates back to the 12th century or before, when the Moors brought a tradition of mathematically based folding to Spain. The Spanish further developed paper folding into an artistic practice called papiroflexia, or pajarita. By the 1800s, kindergarten age children in Europe and Japan were learning paper folding. So you may be wondering which animal we're making out of our origami today. We are making a cow. And the reason that we chose a cow is because some countries believe that the cow is sacred. Why is the cow sacred in India? Hindus do not consider the cow to be a god and they do not worship it. Hindus, however, are vegetarians and they consider the cow to be a sacred symbol of life that should be protected and revered. In the Vedas, the oldest of the Hindu scriptures, the cow is associated with Aditi, the mother of all gods. 